Hey everybody, Flying Ryan here with a review of the Silverlit Sky Dragon. This is a three channel coaxial infrared controlled helicopter. Uh, this one is actually a custom paint job. Uh, they did a contest on Facebook where people could design their own paint scheme and then post it on their Facebook page and whichever one got the most uh, likes is the one that Silverlit created. So I think they only made like 10 or 15 of this paint scheme and it's got on the blades here. And this was actually created by my fellow Silverlit reviewer Jack is my co-pilot. Uh, so his design ended up winning and they sent it out to us reviewers and a couple other uh, people that liked the post and uh, got picked in a random drawing. So this is just a really, really, uh, you know, unique and rare design. Uh, normally they, I think they come in like red, blue, and yellow or something. They have three normal colors. Uh, so you can still buy that, but this is the one I got with the, the special paint scheme on it. And I just really like the look of the helicopter. It's got a nice design. I think the, the landing gear is a good uh, proportion to the canopy. So it just has a really nice stance to it and just looks really sleek and aerodynamic it's got good metal parts on it and carbon fiber boom and stuff so just a good looking helicopter uh, and it comes with uh, two spare uh, two spare tail props and a little tool to remove them right there and then uh, you know again you've got your infrared controller and silverlit tends to do this thing where this it comes on um, over the right stick is this little piece that makes it so you can only do forward and backward and left and right at the so you don't do too many controls at the same time for beginning pilots because it can get a little messy uh, but again you can just pull these thumb pads off and pop that off and then you've got normal control and you can leave the thumb pads off if you're a pincher uh, so I like that you know there's just you know options are always a good thing and as long as you can undo those options I've got no problem with it and then it's got a little light button on the controller there where you can turn a, a little light on on the front here. And then it has lights on the uh, side here. Let's see, there they are. On each side, there's a little LED that flashes between red and blue while it flies. So that's pretty cool. Uh, and let's see, you get about eight minutes flights uh, with, uh, I think it's about a 35 minute charge or so. Uh, you know, again, it all depends on how aggressively you're flying. Uh, but I think that's all I have to say about it, so let's go check it out in flight. Alright, this is the flight review of the Silverlit Sky Dragon with the uh, custom paint scheme designed by Jack as my co-pilot. So go ahead and turn it on. The switch here is on the back. Turn on the controller. So now you'll see it's got the, the blinking lights on each side. And the front light is off by default, so you've got to turn it on with the remote if you want it on. So, Alright, let's give her a little spin. Watch out, Elsie. Whoa. This is pretty quick. It flies forward at a pretty good speed. But it's really nice and stable. Let's see, it looks like I maybe need a touch touch of left trim there, no problem. But yeah, it can it can get scooting, so you can kind of do some fun. Ooh, it didn't like that. I was trying to do full forward turn there and the fly bar was not happy about that move. This thing is quick. Good gyro on it. Holds its tail right where you stop it. 
Left and right turns both seem pretty equal in speed. It does fly backwards, of course. You gotta give it some a lot of throttle when you fly backwards. It tends to lose its its height. Oh gosh. Got me. Durability test. I think this sells for about $50. So not bad for the price. All right, let's take it in for a landing. Ooh, missed my landing pad. All right, well that's that. That is the Silverlit Sky Dragon. Pretty cool little helicopter. All right, well thanks for watching. Please subscribe and I'll see you next time.